I'm Suzanne Clary. This poem is for one of my former poetry students. Its title is, For the Poet Who Writes to Me While Standing in Line at CVS Waiting for His Mother's Prescription. For Russell Jackson. It's nothing that you flat out say, Russell, but your email reminds me that six months into pandemic, five months into quarantine, CVS remains open 24 hours. It's harsh blue-white light steady, as nothing in nature is steady. Those long fluorescent bulbs still dive-bombing lumens so that midnight is bright as 8 a.m. or 4 a.m. or 2 a.m. or 7.30 p.m. You can see that I struggle to carry one thought to the next these long days. I spend hours on the internet, becoming expert on the height of actors from Hollywood's golden age, on the 25 cutest photos of four-year-old Princess Charlotte. I now know that Elizabeth Bishop was a bit taller than I am, a bit heavier. Her clothes would be too big for me, as no doubt her shoes. Russell. What is it that supposedly concentrates the mind wonderfully? Samuel Johnson said it in Boswell's biography, which I have never read and never will. I know my limits. Lately, I think that I know little else worth knowing. My only advice for your poems, Russell, wash your hands for as long as it takes to sing Happy Birthday. Did you know that's no longer copyrighted? Five years ago, U.S. District Court Judge jo George H. King ruled happy birthday is public domain. The 1935 patent applied, quote, only to the melody and specific arrangements of the tune, but not to the actual song itself, close quote. When Judge King writes actual song, he means lyrics, but I hear him saying, song is something beyond the reach of law, beyond reach of language. Song is like a kernel of light inside of things, steady. Russell, be like CVS. I don't know what this means, be like CVS. Russell, Dare to say what doesn't make sense, then wait patiently to see the sense inside of it. Be like CVS. Be like the bewildering variety of toothpastes, decongestants, hair conditioners. Be like orange Velcro knee braces, like spools of pastel ribbon that hums pulled across a scissor. Be like the aisle of bare shelves where the cleaning products once stood where the white metal shelves now display only how each shelf with a simple ingenious hook fits into the frame. I'm telling you nothing that you don't already know, Russell. Be like whatever accepts the horrid light and shines in it. Be like the eight-ounce can of lightly salted cashews for which you are newly willing to pay twelve ninety nine as you stand in line waiting for the blue-gloved hands to hold out to you the small white bag, which is not for you, except in that you are the one who will carry it where it must go. Thank you for listening. For more of my poems, and to read more about me, you can visit my website, www.suzanneclarypoet.com.